friends, and welcome to another edition of Storytime with Sunny. I guess you're wondering why we look this way. You know what, Sunny? I think if we get right into the story, they'll be able to figure it out. Today's story is Ladybug Girl and Bumblebee Boy by David Soman and Jackie Davis. Let's get to it. All right. Ladybug Girl and Bumblebee Boy. Ladybug Girl is ready to play, says Lulu. She has been waiting forever to go to her favorite playground, the one with the twisty slide and the bouncy dinosaurs. Her mama grabs Bingo's leash and says, all right, let's go. Ladybug Girl leaps over sidewalk cracks that are as big as canyons. When she sees Mrs. Robbins carrying her groceries, Ladybug Girl swoops over to help. The bag is heavy as a boulder, but it isn't a problem for Ladybug Girl. And Ladybug Girl can count really high. She counts mailbox after mailbox after mailbox, all the way up to infinity. Bingo sniffs everything. When they get to the playground, it is full of kids. While Bingo settles into his spot under a bench, Lulu looks around for someone to play with. She sees Sam from her music class. He's playing by himself in the sandbox. Hi, Sam, she says. Hi, Lulu, he says back. Want to play with me? Sure, what do you want to play, asks Lulu. Diggers, of course, says Sam. Lulu has never really liked playing diggers. She doesn't like getting sand in her boots. How about monkeys? In a flash, Lulu is hanging from the jungle gym. Monkeys is the best, Lulu yells. No, I don't like that, says Sam. Lulu watches Sam run off to the big castle. Well, maybe we could play castle, Lulu thinks. Being a princess wouldn't be so bad. But Sam is standing at the bottom of the castle, and that's not where she usually plays. What are you doing down there, Lulu asks, puzzled. Don't you think playing on the top is better? When Sam doesn't answer, Lulu says, Never mind, I know the perfect thing for us to do. The seesaw! She runs over and sits down on one side of the seesaw and waits and waits. Sam just stands there not getting on. The other side is high and empty while she is stuck on the ground. Lulu and Sam glare at each other. Neither one of them says anything. Then Lulu sputters, you don't want to do anything I want to do. And you don't want to do what I want, Sam grumbles. Lulu's cheeks are getting hot. She is very frustrated. Why doesn't Sam want to play? She definitely didn't have this problem on the way to the playground when she was Ladybug Girl. It was easy to have fun then. Maybe she should just go play by herself. And then Lulu has an idea. She takes a deep breath and says, do you want to play Ladybug Girl with me? Ladybug Girl, how do you play that? Asks Sam. I'll show you, she says. Ladybug Girl has superpowers. I can fly and I'm super strong. Superpowers? Sam is very interested. And who can I be? He asks. Well, you sort of look like a bee, says Lulu. A bee? Yeah, a bee can fly, and he will sting people if they bother him. I need a stinger, says Sam. He sees a stick and picks it up. I'm Bumblebee Boy, Sam declares, and I'm Ladybug Girl, yells Lulu. Nothing can stop us. Ladybug Girl and Bumblebee Boy zoom around the playground, looking to help anyone in trouble. A squirrel scampers by Bingo. Oh, yells Bumblebee Boy. That scary monster is trying to get your dog. He needs our help right away. We're coming, Bingo, says Bumblebee Boy. They bravely charge forward. The scary monster is no match for their superpowers and leaps away. We did it. We saved Bingo. Are you okay? asks Ladybug Girl. Bingo wags his tail. Then Bumblebee Boy runs towards the swings. Watch how high I can fly, he yells. 
I can fly high too, Ladybug Girl says, running behind him. They are soon whipping through the air. They flap their wings harder and harder. They are high. They can almost touch a cloud. Look, says Ladybug Girl, waving toward the swing. There's a mean robot. It's going to crush the playground. We need to stop it. They rush over to the mean robot. Ladybug Girl grabs on and jumps on top of its head. Bumblebee Boy stings it with his stinger again and again. This will teach you not to mess with Bumblebee Boy and Ladybug Girl. Feeling rather proud for saving the play playground and probably the whole town, Ladybug Girl and Bumblebee Boy decide to have a parade on the bouncy dinosaurs. It is a very important celebration. A crowd gathers to watch the parade. People cheer and throw flowers at them. Two girls are watching and they come over. Can we play with you? asks Marley. I can be Butterfly Girl. No, says Kiki, we already decided. I'm Butterfly Girl. You can be Dragonfly Girl. Ladybug Girl and Bumblebee Boy, look at them. If we're going to play together, says Ladybug Girl, we don't fight each other. Yeah, we work together to fight bad guys, like that giant snake over there, says Bumblebee Boy, pointing at the twisty slide. Ladybug Girl adds, and Dragonfly Girl can breathe fire. Fire? I'm Dragonfly Girl, agrees Marley. As Dragonfly Girl breathes fire, Ladybug Girl yells, Watch out, you big giant snake! Here comes the Bug Squad! Later, when it's time to go, Lulu says, It was fun playing together. Do you want to play Bug Squad tomorrow? asks Sam. Definitely because Ladybug Girl and Bumblebee Boy can do anything. Mama, asked Lulu as they head home, can we get wings for Bingo? Ladybug Girl and Bumblebee Boy. That was a great story, Miss Laurie. Yep, and I bet they can guess why we're dressed like bugs now too. Yeah, because we're all part of the Bug Squad. Hey, let's introduce our friends. Okay, over here on my right is Ant Boy. Ant Boy, what's your secret power? I can lift 10 times my weight. So in any, any picnic or gathering, I can get the bad guys with my super, super strength. Wow, Coolio. And who's on your left, Miss Laurie? Oh, that's... Yellow Jacket Boy. Yellow Jacket Boy, what can you do? What's your superpower? Well, I have a stinger and I can sting a bad guy repeatedly until he's no match for Yellow Jacket Boy. And who are you, Miss Laurie? Well, I'm Firebug Girl. What's your power? Well, I can make fire. So I can burn out the bad guys. Cool. And Sunny, who are you? Well, I'm two superheroes. Two, two, two superheroes in one. Really? Mm-hmm. I start out as Caterpillar Girl. Oh, I get it. And then when I say the magic transforming word, metamorphose. Caterpillar Girl becomes Butterfly girl! Oh, you're beautiful. Yep, and I can be little and get big and I can solve crime in a butterfly kind of way. Perfect. So, you know, when uh, Ladybug Girl would get bored, she would do a lot of counting. Oh, I love to count. All right, great. I thought we could do some counting too. First of all, let's move this up to the front and we can see how many stingers are in the container. Okay, as I pull them out, you help me count them. Got it. One, two, three, four. Hey, and there's four left up there. For your old older kids, how much is four plus four? 
for you little, little kids, let's keep counting. We stopped at four, five, six, seven, eight, eight bumblebee and yellow jacket stingers. Correct. How about this? Let's see how much money we have in the purse. Okay, we're gonna do some addition when we get to the end, so be ready. Okay, so we've got two colors of coins. We've got silver and we've got kind of coppery colors, like a penny, exactly. Let's count the silver ones first. Okay, up to infinity? I don't think we'll have to go that far. Let's try. One, two, three, four, five, six, six silver coins plus, let's count the copper ones, one, two, six silver and two copper. Six plus two equals six, seven, eight, eight coins in total. Good counting. Caterpillar slash butterfly girl. Ha ha ha, that's a mouthful. It sure is. And for our last bit of counting, let's count how many pictures of Riley and Reagan we see over here. Okay, do you think it's gonna be eight? I don't know, we'll have to see. That seems to be the magic number. All right, ready? I'm gonna come out of the picture for a second and I'm gonna come over here and we're gonna count them. Are you ready? Let's go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten pictures of Riley and Reagan. Counting is fun, Firebug Girl. It sure is, Caterpillar slash Butterfly Girl. And you know what? There's someone else you can always count on, and that's Jesus. That's a good way to end this one, I think, Miss Laurie. I think you're right, Sonny. From all of us here at the Bug Squad, bye-bye. See you next time, friends!